Box. Hello, welcome once again to Late Night Sex Talk with me, Dr. X. Good evening. Doctor, I'm calling because I get on really well with my neighbor. She's always inviting me around for coffee. We go to the park to feed the pigeons. When we go out to a nightclub, we always dance together. We even go to the bathroom together. And I wanted to ask... Yes, go ahead. How far can I take a relationship with another woman before I'd be considered a lesbian? <sighs> the lesbian option. At times, men in particular have a somewhat unrealistic image of the love that exists between two women. The term lesbian comes from the Greek island of Lesbos, where women entered into amorous relationships, repaired 16-wheeler trucks together, and watched movies starring Jodie Foster. But let's not be misled by these stereotypes. There are as many types of lesbians as there are different types of women and different types of men. Tell me, my friend, have you ever done anything with your friend that could be considered lesbianism? Yesterday we went out to hunt buffalo. Right, but that in itself doesn't mean anything. Well, sometimes we suck each other's titties, but that's totally normal, right? I mean, who doesn't like to suck a little titty? We all suck on mama's boobs when we're babies, right? Oh, uh, well, yeah. And once in a while we make love, too. But we use an 8-inch black latex strap-on. And that's almost like doing it with a man, right? Oh, uh, well, women can have sex with other women and there's absolutely nothing wrong with What are you crazy? Doing it with another woman? Do you take me for some kind of a pervert? You disgust me! Wow, I don't think she took that news very well at all. Oh well, next week on the show we'll be finding out how to get it right every time when giving sex toys to friends and family. <laughs> Is that from me? Hmm, that's a lovely thought, Luke.